Who would have thought this probe survived? Japan's slim lunar landing probe wakes up to new life and resumes its mission. The icy cold lunar night could not harm the Japanese wonder vehicle, and now SLIM will send us unprecedented data. SLIM is already considered an exceptional mission, and the probe could change the colonization of the moon. In January 2024, the Japanese lunar probe SLIM successfully landed on the surface of the moon. SLIM stands for Smart Lander for Investigating Moon. For the first time, a lunar probe landed practically autonomously and with a precision of 50 meters to the targeted landing site. This was an incredible achievement by the Japanese space agency JAXA, and basically the mission was more than accomplished. But SLIM goes further. With their lunar probe, the Japanese once again showed how genius their technical inventiveness is in space travel. The Japanese are known for their love of technology, gimmicks, and animations. But in space, the nation is still rather new, or better yet, completely unrecognized. Japan successfully landed probes on an asteroid years ago, including a lander, a rover, and a companion vehicle, which have been studying the asteroid ever since. These technologies are so ingenious that by studying asteroids and comets intensively, they could save the whole of humanity from a devastating impact of such objects in the future. With a mission to the moon, Japan wanted to finally gain the respect and recognition in space travel that the nation has long deserved, and this time it succeeded. SLIM was the only probe to date that was able to land on the moon so unerringly and also navigate independently. Moon landings sometimes seem normal to us today. Many nations have now placed probes on the moon, but what most people don't know is how difficult the landings are. Russia lost a probe on landing, India lost its lander and rover on the first attempt, and the second generation froze to death on the moon. Only China has successfully landed one rover after another, and now Japan has also done so. Both nations are technological pioneers and are highly innovative. Trembling over SLIM? SLIM was fully designed to carry out a targeted landing near the lunar equator, which is already a technical masterpiece. The landing process was a success, but it was not without its difficulties. During the final stage of the descent, as SLIM approached the lunar surface, a problem occurred with the engine. This problem led to a loss of altitude and speed control, which ultimately caused SLIM to land sideways. Despite this faux pas, the spacecraft was so sure of its target that the whole world was thrilled. So the minor failure didn't really matter, but Japan is ambitious. Instead of standing upright as planned, SLIM landed on a slope with an inclination of about 17 degrees. This position had several immediate effects on the mission. Firstly, the sideways landing affected the efficiency of the solar panels that were supposed to power SLIM's batteries. Because the panels were not optimally aligned, the probe could not capture enough sunlight to fully charge its batteries. Secondly, the tilted position affected the alignment of the communication antenna, which limited SLIM's ability to send and receive signals to Earth. Despite these challenges, the Japanese engineers managed to readjust the probe. This too is nothing short of a miracle. Landing the probe so precisely, then freeing it from its predicament and reactivating it after hibernation are master strokes by the Japanese. SLIM had to carefully manage its energy during all this time in order to maintain communication with Earth despite its limited power. The position was not favorable in relation to the Earth. The lunar horizon was practically between the line of communication. This is another disadvantage of moon landings that many space enthusiasts are unaware of. Communication with probes can be extremely difficult. SLIM could only make sporadic contact with Earth, and JAXA could only control the probe at certain times to get it out of its predicament. This unforeseen situation presented the engineers at the Japanese Space Agency with considerable challenges. However, SLIM once again proved to be robust and flexible. So far, this completely new generation of lunar probe has proven to be not only unusually precise and intelligent, but also resilient and tough. Despite the difficult landing conditions, SLIM was able to continue its mission, and the fact that the probe is operational again, even after the lunar night, will take our entire lunar research to a new dimension. SLIM is back. Despite an icy cold lunar night, it survived. There was great joy in India when two lunar probes finally landed in 2023. 
The Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover were the second attempt by the Indians to land probes on the moon. But something happened that nobody had expected. After Vikram and Pragyan had successfully landed, the lunar night soon fell. On the moon, a day or night lasts 14 Earth days. The days can be hot and extremely bright, while the nights are icy cold and dark. For some inexplicable reason, India has failed to equip its probes with heating panels. As the Indians wanted to achieve the feat of landing close to the rugged polar landscape, the probes were exposed to freezing temperatures. And what happened? They froze to death. Millions of dollars were lost just because there was no heating. The Japanese thought ahead here. Although SLIM was originally only supposed to accomplish the feat of precision landing, a follow-up mission was planned. SLIM was to send at least a few pictures from the Shioli crater. After the lunar night, SLIM not only proved that it was still alive, but also showed the world the excellent images from the camera system. After surviving temperatures as low as negative 173 degrees Celsius, the probe took extremely detailed and high-resolution images of the lunar surface. The special thing about this probe was that it did not have any special heating systems or insulation. The Japanese solved the cold problem in a different way. The sensitive electronics were protected from freezing by putting the probe into hibernation mode. In hibernation mode, almost all systems were switched off in order to save energy and keep the internal temperatures stable above negative 40 degrees Celsius. This was initially considered a risky strategy by experts, and experts from NASA and other spacefaring nations doubted that the Japanese strategy would work. However, Japan once again demonstrated an unusual inventive spirit and far-reaching progress in space travel. On February 25, 2024, SLIM woke up and sent a signal to the JAXA team. You can imagine how excited the Japanese space experts were, and, of course, the news immediately went around the world. JAXA confirmed that SLIM had survived the lunar night and its communication capabilities had remained intact. This awakening marks a significant achievement in space technology for all mankind, as we all benefit from the technical masterpieces of the Japanese. We want to make progress together in lunar exploration. The development of the moon as a settlement and economic area is imminent. NASA will soon be landing people on the moon again to live and work there as part of the Artemis mission. SpaceX and Elon Musk will be involved in the project and JAXA's successes will also secure it a place in the International Moon Project. The Japanese have already announced that they will contribute intelligent life support systems to Artemis and Japan has developed several other intelligent lunar probes that will soon complement SLIM. One probe looks a bit like a rolling ball. It is designed to roll independently over the lunar surface and develop into a versatile rover in suitable places. The ball can unfold, extend legs, small drills, and measuring probes, then take samples, take pictures, and collect data. Once the mission is complete, the rover rolls up again and rolls on. These incredible parts could be used all over the moon and make work easier for lunar settlers and scientists. So SLIM is just the beginning. And the fact that this probe is functional again after the extreme conditions opens the door to new dimensions of lunar exploration. Now that SLIM is active again, the first thing on the agenda is to continue the scientific experiments and data collection. The probe will continue to explore the lunar surface, especially the geologically and mineralogically highly interesting Shioli region. The International Conquest of the Moon the Smart Lander for Investigating Moon was the fifth international project to make a soft landing on the moon after the USA, the former Soviet Union, China, and India. This is slowly transforming the moon into a multicultural landscape, sending a peaceful signal to Earth. On the moon and in space, nations are uniting to form a community that also benefits the situation on Earth. Russians and Americans are coming together in space, Russia has joint projects with the ESA, Japan and India are joining them, and even the Chinese are sharing their incredible successes with the Chang'e missions with the world. For example, Chang'e succeeded in finding tiny glass beads containing water. These glass beads are scattered practically everywhere in the lunar soil, and lunar settlers only have to boil them to make use of the water they contain. 
Before this sensational discovery, scientists thought we would have to drill long and hard for lunar ice or carry water via pipelines from the lunar poles to the settlement areas planned for the future. Each mission contributes to future projects on the moon, and the active exchange of technologies and knowledge strengthens the international human community. SLIM's work in Scioli Crater will provide us with valuable data on lunar geology. Understanding the structure of the moon is essential if we want to use it as a settlement and perhaps even as an economic area in the future. The Chinese astronauts also found a helium isotope on the moon that could power future fusion reactors. Nuclear fusion would be the solution to the energy problem on Earth, and we could also operate power plants on the moon that generate cheap, clean energy. This in turn could power life support systems, light greenhouses on the moon, launch space shuttles, and enable life to flourish on what is now a rather barren moon. SLIM is another important part of the dream to open up the moon as a habitat. Click the subscribe button now and get even more exciting videos about space and the latest topics in astronomy and astrophysics.